What is up guys? Welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another Say it with me guys Big unboxing for you for the Galaxy Note 8 and we are back with the Spigen Thin Fit case to unbox and do a quick review on As always we'll put up the link in the video description so if you guys want to check it out feel free to so the price on this one between $10.99 and $12.99 and it comes in four different colors so you got deep sea blue maple gold matte black and then orchard gray so definitely nice color selection there and this one looks a little bit different than some of the thin fit cases i've had in the past so we'll just have to actually check it out once we get it open at least from the pictures it actually looks a little bit different so this has got the thin fit shows what you're getting the picture of the actual case itself so you can see this is a very minimalist case. So everybody that's looking for one of those cases that's no bulk, this may be the way to go. Matte black, Spigen logo up top. Nothing really to it. Let's go and get to the, the main feature. Try a tab. Don't mind if we do, guys. All right. Oh, yeah. So this one definitely looks a little bit different. That back is very reminiscent of... Let me think. This is the, kind of looks like the Caseology Parallax series where it's got that geometric design to it, that almost two-tone geometric design, and I like that. And this one's almost more subtle than that one, but it adds a little bit of grip to it, and I like the way it feels. It's very grippy, and actually just looks a little bit classy. I, I like the way that two-tone looks. It doesn't add too much flair, but it actually just adds just enough, I think. That's just my opinion. Got a little company branding. It's, it looks like they're getting that a little bit too big as well. I think that's a little bit too big, but that's just me being a little petty about it. I think they could have made that a little smaller. The speaking branding, tighten that up a little bit. Case itself, again, this is a hard shell plastic. It does feel like it's going to give you some protection. The inner shell, this is just going to be a very hard shell. So anybody that's worried about, you know, extra protection for the inside, I don't know why I'll get this case. If you're worried about getting the inside of it scratched up or anything like that, you might want to put a pass on this because this is just a hard shell. But if you're not worried about it and you guys are looking for just a minimalist case, this is super light and I do like the way this feels a lot. It's gotten really good reviews on Amazon. It's got four and a half stars out of 181 reviews. So it's definitely getting some good reviews. So let's pop it into place. So no, not everybody's looking for a you know, heavy duty case. Some, some people just want something that's going to cover up the back. And this may be what you guys are looking for. All right. So let's put this down. Let's check it out. That looks beautiful. Look at that. I like the way that looks. Again, this actually feels really nice, guys. That material does add some nice grip to it. And it just adds a little bling to it, but not too much. You can just see from the different angles. Beautiful. Not too much bulk. This is very, it's almost like nothing there, guys. This is very lightweight. Camera protection, you're definitely getting some decent camera protection for a, a lightweight case. Definitely not flush, so nice job there. I can't imagine you're getting much lip protection, and that is the truth. So really, you're not getting anything on the sides. This is a curved screen, so you're really not getting any lip protection on the sides. Normally on these cases, you're going to get a little bit more raised edges on the top and bottom, but this one is not the case, so you can see it's almost flush. You're just getting just a little bit of protection for the lip protection. So not crazy amount at all. I would be afraid to drop this for sure. And I think you're okay if you got like a timber glass and you're not really too much worried about it. But to me, that's not much. You can see just a little bit of raised edges on the top and bottom, but not too much at all. Cutouts are exposed. So easy to get to, no problems with the access to the volume up and down. The big speed button's easy to get to as well. Bottom ports look precise and neat. So nice cutouts. Very well done. S pin, easy to get to. It's not quite flush, but it's easy to get to. So it pops right out every single time. So nice job there. And again, exposed. So let's see. That's it. So you got the top and top and bottom are covered but again this is very very 
thin protection. So if you got everybody that's looking for just a lightweight case, I would definitely say this is a hit. If obviously if you need more protection, this one's definitely not for you, but everybody that wants just that thin case, so you're not raw dog on the phone naked, this may be the way to go, guys. I think it's probably a hit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time on the big unbox. We do it big, guys.